Hello and welcome back everyone to BBA to Z. In this video, I'll be showing you how to copy the data from one workbook to another. First of all, I have uh, you know a workbook called source.xlism. This is gonna be where I'll put in my code and then I'm gonna send this data to another workbook, okay? I have around 1000 records precisely and then uh, the name of the tab is called sheet1. I'll just call this uh, data and I have saved this file in a folder called temp temp help okay so ensure that you have saved the file in .xlism by going to save save as if you already save as xlism file that is okay the, the file type should be excel micro enable workbook and I've called this source you know source dot excelism okay so our data is ready now we have to move this data to a new workbook so I'm gonna mm -hmm. add a new workbook for now just for a demo purpose this is a blank workbook and then I'm gonna yeah. save this as XLS X uh, I'll call this destination and then I'll call this uh, something like final data or consolidated data okay so this is where I want to paste my data from this book okay so if you have both the workbooks open that is uh, more simpler but uh, we'll try to do it another way okay so I'm gonna close this book first let's record a macro okay and then I'll tell you how to edit them it's very simple but since uh, this will be helpful for beginners I'm doing it in a in a the most you know uh, easiest way and how you can understand each of the things that you're doing so I'm gonna start recording our aim is to move this data into a file called destination and there's a final data that I'm gonna move it there okay so I'm gonna record a macro and I'll call this our uh, export data I think that will be more appropriate click on ok the work the macro is in this workbook okay source excelism uh, workbook so just keep track of that all right so the recording has started now i'm gonna open that file destination okay and now the file is ready so i'm gonna come back to my file first i'm gonna select my data and then i'll copy everything including the heading or if you don't want to include the heading you start selecting from row number two okay so I'm gonna select everything from row number one till the end okay and then I'm just gonna go to home tab and click on copy now I'm gonna go to my destination workbook I selected it I selected the final data and I paste it as um, paste vessel numbers and val values number formats and click on ok and then I'll just hit on escape that is to clear the clipboard if you see this I'll hit on escape and then this is grayed out that means the clipboard is gone uh, you need to do this because um, if you're copying multiple data from multiple workbook sometimes it fails to copy it it might paste the data that you have copied earlier so it's a good practice to do that now I'm gonna stop my recording I'll stop my recording okay I'm done so now let's go to uh, our code I'm going to developer and then I'm going to Visual Basic and then um, this is the code that it generated for us okay so this is simple enough for us to use it if you run again it's what it's gonna do is this line is copying the work opening the workbook called destination and then it's selecting the this uh, source workbook windows activate and then it selected the sheet from A1 it went down till the end so you can get rid of that this is the selection it's not required this two is not required you can directly put in the range like from A1 till N1001 so from A1 this is A1 okay this is A1 and till N till N1001 so this is how it has generated a syntax for copying it so I can directly say instead of select I can say copy it copy that data and then I'll remove this line 
and then go to destination workbook here and then from this destination workbook select the final data and then paste this paste the data so let's say select range a1 dot select before pasting it i want to make sure that this is pasted in range a1 so you can say range a1 dot paste special and then you can this operation excel non skip blank it's good to be it's uh, not necessary to be there because we are not transposing or skipping anything so you can just remove them so this is how it looks like in the end so once you hit escape this is once you hit escape this line will be generated basically this is clearing the clipboard okay so let me try to run this uh, we'll do more editing but uh, let me just clear this data I'll save it I'll save it and then I'll close it um, I just close it so now let's try and run this code again I'm hitting F8 so it's gonna execute this line one by one so it just opened the destination file there and then it's going back to source and then it's gonna select the data tab then now it's gonna copy from A1 till N1001 you see it's copied and then it's gonna go to destination workbook select the final tab and then paste in A1 and then it will clear the clipboard if you watch this paste this grayed out so the data is pasted successfully so this is how you can you know <coughs> oh, excuse me you can paste the data into the destination workbook it's a simple way of doing that uh, once you record it instead of windows it's better to replace windows with workbooks okay that way it's more uh, efficient so let's try and run this code again I'll close it by clearing the data I'll run it again so it's done so this is a simple way of doing that if you want to use variable and set the objects for the workbook and so on also it's good otherwise um, also it's fine okay so now um, now that you have come till here and I hope you have understood uh, how to do this uh, we'll make the range dynamic just one line to add there so let's say that you have 1000 line now records of data and you have one more line of data so if you tell if you don't change this to 102 it's not gonna select the the one that is on the bottom one new record that is there for example so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna declare a variable okay we're gonna find out dynamically how you know what is the last row with the data okay basically so don't worry too much I'll say I'll declare dim last row with data okay as long basically I'm telling that uh, I'm telling BBA that uh, this is my variable name let's call it short name LR last row uh, let's call this LR and I'm saying that my variable LR is gonna be long as in uh, this is gonna be um, a huge number as in it's gonna be a number a solid number okay if you look up this data type uh, you'll find it there if you press F1 or if you uh, look at the data type of long you'll find that long can constitute from you know a huge number so basically I'm saying that there a number will be assigned to this LR so after coming to this activate the workbook source workbook and then the data here I'll say LR is equal to I'll say whatever is you know whatever you go down till the bottom and come up here in A taking A as my column whatever is the last data in this column will be my last row for example so I'll say range so it's a um, range A that will be my primary column range A and rows don't count rows dot count will give me this one zero you know one million basically right so rows dot count break it close dot n whatever go to the end and come up from xlf dot row okay so if i debug this particular code right now it's gonna give me 1002 so if i go down till here and come up it's gonna give me 102 okay 
so if I add any data here again and print this line again by hitting enter it's gonna give me 103 that means there is a data in 103 that will be my last row of data so this is how you can generate the you know uh, a dynamic uh, um, variable that will hold your data so instead of one zero one thousand and one I'm gonna get rid of this and say concatenate it with LR so you can use in this similar manner so whenever you add data it will pick up automatically whatever data is in the bottom okay so let me add um, just a dummy data till 109 and hopefully it should be copied into the new workbook so I'm running this data again let's see so you can see it's 10109 paste it till 109 so the data is here so let's do it one more time this will be till 1015 I'm gonna clear everything off save it and close it and now I'm gonna run this code again so it has pasted till here okay so this is how you can export data from one workbook to another if you are importing the data from another workbook into this workbook so basically this workbook means the workbook where you're putting the code okay and the uh, uh, you know the workbook that you're opening you can import it from there in the same fashion that you have recorded and uh, Made the changes. So I hope uh, you found this video useful if you Have any questions, please put your questions on the comments, you know below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible do subscribe to our channel and then uh, follow us uh, for you know more videos uh, coming up. Thank you so much for watching and um, See you later. Bye. -bye.